So next we're going to have a look at making the rocker arm perches. So they support the rocker arms in um, on each cylinder. So they are um, shaped like this. And I'm going to make mine out of brass. It says steel on the plans, but I wanted to have a bit of brass at the top of the motor. So uh, these are going to be quarter inch thick, 250 thou. I haven't got no um, brass of that thickness. Uh, my thickest uh, like sheet brass is uh, five mil. So what we're going to do, we're going to make these out of some 16 mil solid round. So I've drawn it in here. So there's our uh, perch sitting in there. So we should be able to machine that and get that down to size and to make two of those. So I'm going to turn these in the lathe to begin with. So we're going to have two, we're going to have them back to back. So we'll have the cylindrical bit on this side like it is on the plan and then obviously on the other side over here and then once we've done that we'll take it over to the miller machine and we'll start to mill this down to get our perch size you know the square part on the top there and then we've just got to drill a through hole through the middle for fixing down to the cylinder head and then um, another hole through the side here which takes the pin to hold the rocker arms on. So first job is to just face this brass off and then we'll just put some layout die on there and we'll mark out where our cuts are. <laughs> have a through hole all the way through and on the plans uh, obviously it's an imperial size but I'm going to make mine three mil um, just because I've got three millimeter allen bolts um, to hold those down to the cylinder heads so we'll start off with a um, center drill so we'll just get that marked to the center and then we'll drill all the way through uh, with a three mil So that's the through hole done. Uh, now we're going to turn these two uh, ends down to 6mm. So we'll just support 
this end obviously we've got a bit of stick out there and we've only got a six mil piece of brass so quite weak so we'll just have a bit of support under there just to stop that from twisting so that's all supported and um, shouldn't be too much problem i'll take it nice and easy so we are going to now machine this top set face down, uh, get it down to just above this. Um, we want a quarter of an inch finish size. Uh, this is six mil, so obviously we've got 0.35 um, split between the two sides. So we'll machine that down and then we'll flick it over and machine the other side down. And then we'll, um, you know, obviously get down to our quarter inch. So I've machined that roughly down to where we want to be. So what we'll do now is I'll set the uh, DRO to zero and then we'll flick the piece over 180 degrees and then we'll machine the other size, um, side down and then we'll have a measure and then we'll see um, how much, you know, we've obviously then got to take from both sides. got now let's have a look we have 6.42 by the looks of that 6.42 so that's close enough for me so that's set down to size now and um, that's the critical dimension done so the other side uh, this these two sides here not so critical and we'll bring those down to um, more or less the size so next job is to drill for the rocker shafts. I'm going to use a piece of two millimeter drill rod for that. So we've obviously got to drill those holes to suit that for a nice tight fit. So we'll change over to the wobbler. Um, I've put some layout die on here and marked those out. We'll change over to the wobbler. We'll find those centers and then we'll drill those. Thank you. 
So that's those two done, and this is our piece of 2 mil drill rod. So that will be a nice tight fit in there. Next job is now to split these in half, and then um, we've got to then obviously bring those back down to size on the top. So we'll do that now. So I've cut those in half, and the final job now is just to bring these down to size. So I have marked on there, just in the uh, layout die there. So we'll get them in the uh, vise and we'll machine them down. So how I'm going to do that is just to stand them up on a parallel and they will support their own size. They won't tip over. So So that's the rocket post finished. Other than a bit of clean up, but I'm not going to worry about that at this stage. I'll do that closer to the engine build, final build. I'll polish those up and get the uh, machine and marks out. So yeah, so on to the next job. <laughs> 